But resource furniture is actually many things. One of the things that we specialize in is the space-saving furniture, which is a remarkable line of products that's made in Italy. Um, resource furniture is a United States uh, importer and distributor uh, for North America for clay in Italy. Regardless of whatever video you see or pictures of these systems, everybody who comes in the showroom finds that these systems completely exceed their expectations because they work not only as well as they hope, but they work better than anybody ever anticipates. They are a revolution in the complete design of space-saving furniture, of wall beds, Murphy beds. Uh, there's really nothing like them. The depth of the systems is almost half of what a traditional or, or conventional Murphy bed is. All you have to do is move your chair. You have a five and a half foot desk. The bed releases with a fingertip. And there's a stop built in so that the bed doesn't fall on you. Now you have to actively pull it down. But everything remains on the desk. The desk remains parallel to the floor. The balance is perfect. Everything operates very easily. This is a terrific sofa. It comes with a chaise lounge, or it comes uh, just as a love seat, whatever you wish. And you can put your headrest back, and then you can just tuck your chaise away if you want just a straight sofa. To um, access the bed, you just move your two pillows here, three pillows. And underneath the sofa, you have storage. And you just pull on this handle. Whatever is on the shelf remains on the shelf. Your stack of books, whatever decorative objects, up to 40 pounds. You pull on the shelf, and then the shelf comes down, becomes the foot again. And there's your bed, a complete queen-size bed. The mattress is sprung. It has a system of steam-bent beechwood slats embedded in nylon and polypropylene fittings inside this aluminum frame so that there, you have a box spring that's completely silent, yet springs and elevates the mattress so that it can aerate. This weighs about 450 pounds, and you can lift this really with just a few fingers. It's just perfectly balanced, and then you put the bed up, and away it goes. I have people who come to me, they, they're moving into 200 square foot studios and can't imagine how they could live in them until they see our products. Real estate brokers send their, their clients or, or their prospective clients here to see these systems so that they can understand that they can actually live and have it comfortably a smaller space than they anticipated. Two bedroom requirement where that second bedroom seems too small, now suddenly you can put two kids in that, in that bedroom, and you can buy an apartment that you can afford. This is a full seven-foot desk. Two, even three people could sit at this desk. If you had it in a child's room and you had two kids in a room, there would be enough room for two children to do their homework. Uh, and a mom or a dad to sit in between them and, and, and help them. Uh, the desk, everything stays on the desk. It just lifts up. Uh, it's on a hydraulic mechanism. And then down comes your bed. Everything works with a fingertips and a complete ease of operation and a total and uh, sensible use of space. Bottom, you just sit your hand in here. You have your lower bunk. You have a folding headboard. Here you have a memory foam mattress, which uh, sits on a completely sprung base. All the systems have sprung bases built into a tubular steel frame, steel legs. Here you have the upper bunk. Again, another folding headboard. You have a fully integrated ladder, piston actuated, and there it goes. And you just seat it here. Uh, you have a rail and upper storage. The entire bunk bed happens in 12 and a quarter inches of depth. It's really remarkable. And it takes seconds to open and close. And takes up virtually, again, 12 and a quarter inches of depth. It's uh, 85 inches wide, 7 feet 1 inches, and 86 and 5 inches tall. It will fit virtually anywhere. All of these systems have at least two different functions. And it isn't just a cabinet that's 24 inches deep with a bed. This is a cabinet that's 12 and a quarter inches deep, and you can add a desk to it, you add the sofa. You, you have this whole second purpose, so what you're doing is you're saving so much space in your apartment, it's like getting an extra room. Um, the design process uh, 
you know, is, is actually kind of a fascinating thing because it involves, um, a, a, you know, a furniture designer, a mechanical engineer, um, and a um, hardware company where, uh, you know, a theory is put forth by a designer in a drawing. Um, a mechanical engineer, you know, analyzes it and uh, the stresses and such and, and the hardware required. Um, designs are done for the hardware and then um, a hardware company goes through the process of, of analyzing the costs and, and prototyping it and, and, you know, resolving whether the, the thing could be built at all. Uh, from what I've seen, at least a year to, from design and prototyping to bring out a new product, sometimes even two years. There's a lot involved in every single product. They um, are made to look extremely simple and, um, and they're very, very easy to operate, but there is an incredible depth of experience, knowledge, design, and engineering behind every one of these systems. And they're executed in such a way so that the simplicity um, in construction and engineering uh, it manifests itself and you result in a lifetime warranty on the product and the most discreet and refined wall beds ever made.